Hello, and in this video, we're going to look at the new Claude AI. So this is a new AI made by Anthropic, and in some ways, it's actually better than ChatGPT. So once we're here, we have all of our chats, and we can start a new chat. We can say hello as a test. So as you can see, it does that. And right now, we're going to be building a small website with it. Um, so yeah, it does help a lot with coding. So that's what we're going to do. We have this basic beat app with a nav bar and a hero. So you can look at it. This is our app.jsx. This is our hero, the nav bar. So a simple Vite app with Tailwind set up. And what we're going to do is say, make a vibrant complex navbar style it with tailwind css so style it with tailwind css like this so as you can see it's creating it it seems like it is adding quite a lot of styles which is exactly what we want and as i found out a very good thing about claude is it can actually add proper images to your um to your app. So not only SVGs, but actual images they can find from the internet. For example, from Unsplash. ChatGPT couldn't do that, which is a big advantage for Claude, as they can make uh, websites look much better and complex straight away. So we can copy all of this and paste it in. So here's what we have. So Vibrant is definitely it's Vibrant with a gradient. As you can see, all these work. Then we have, as you can see, an image of a person and some notification thing. So it did exactly what we wanted. Now let's create the hero section. So we can say, create a vibrant, complex hero section in the same style as the navbar so we're going to make them actually work well together not just separate components and in terms of code especially now when ChatGPT is reported to be worse at coding than it was before claude is most definitely better now as far as i can see it is worse at writing text so at writing essays or something it's worse but in terms of coding it is most definitely better at least in terms of React and Solidity. Those languages are usually used. So yeah, let's see what it created for us. We can copy this and paste it into the hero section. And well, most definitely a very good hero section. So create this card component. Yeah, so an amazing hero section. I would probably not be able to do this easily with ChatGPT. So yeah, now you know about this new AI, and I do recommend to use it to help you code. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.